Welcome back. My name is Cindy and on this channel, I help you to pinpoint ways on how to improve your romantic and parental relationships. In this video, I will be reviewing and sharing my thoughts about Married at First Sight Season 12, Episode 2. So be sure to like this video, subscribe, and click that notification bell. So I'm glad it wasn't another three hour episode, but I was really hoping that we were going to get through all of the ceremonies last night. It was interesting that all the couples did not sh exchange a gift or share a gesture. I'm not sure if that's something that they chose whether or not they wanted to do or if it was the editing. Was it me or did the editing seem a bit shady last night? They seem to have been emphasizing and repeating certain narratives within each couple. I'm not sure what that's all about, but let's get started. Ryan and Clara, as I mentioned last week, I thought it was a really sweet gesture for Ryan to come up with the idea of the blindfolds. And it was really nice to watch them be pleasantly surprised to see each other at the altar. Ryan is attracted to Clara. Clara feels Ryan is handsome. Ryan's vows melted my heart. I think he's a really awesome guy. It was interesting that after the ceremony, Clara mentioned how she didn't want to be matched up with someone who um, had insecurities. I mean, we all have insecurities, number one. And number two, she seemed a bit insecure last episode when she was throwing shade at all the girls in her confessions and how she had that whole meltdown after she got the letter from Ryan about how she wasn't going to be good enough. She didn't look good enough. Her makeup wasn't good. Her dress wasn't good. She also said how she's afraid that she's going to fall in love with Ryan and he's not going to love her back. I mean, she did say she falls in love pretty quickly, but she also falls out of love quickly. So hopefully within this marriage, she's, she's going to fall in love and stay in love. They seem to like each other and they're hitting it off. So I'm excited to see how they are going to continue to connect and how their love story is going to unfold. Next, we have Eric and Virginia, and some of that shady editing that I was talking about in the beginning definitely was happening during the time that Eric was sitting with his buddies. He kept saying how he wanted a serious relationship and that he has been married before, so he understands what comes with marriage. And then his friend was being a little critical and saying things that people don't wanna hear right before they walk down the aisle. He was asking these questions and like kind of challenging Eric in the, in the decision of wanting to be married at first sight. So I thought that was a little messed up. Doing that right before they walked down the aisle. They were also emphasizing how conservative and traditional Eric is. He was also saying that um, he's looking for someone that's going to settle down and, you know, start a life with him. But then we have Virginia, who is a child of divorce, she's got a lot of attachment issues, but it was good that her father actually did show up and her mom and stepmom were there as well to support her. And something about her is just very childish to me. Even during the ceremony, she just kept giggling and giggling. And I felt like Eric was trying to smile and, and be a good sport, but deep down he was probably wondering, what the heck did I get, it, get myself into? She was really aggressive during the time that they were um, having their wedding photos done. And I'm just not sure about this couple. And her maid of honor stayed true to who she currently is in saying that she likes to party and not to put her in the back seat because she might throw up after drinking. Can I just say that her purple eyeshadow looked like she was getting ready to go to the club, not to get ready to walk down the aisle for her wedding. And the constant giggling was really awkward. And um, Eric was trying to be a good sport and smile and kind of laugh along with her. But I can tell he was kind of like feeling a little weird. And, you know, she kept asking to go to the bar. She said she needed, a, she needed wine. She needed a shot. She just kept talking about drinking. I feel like Eric is trying to be a good sport. And they did mention how he has a hard time sharing his feelings. So 
I'm guessing that he's going to probably shut down once he starts to see how much partying she likes to really do and all the drinking. And it's just not looking good. Next, we have Vincent and Brianna. So Vincent is back in my good graces because he started off strong last episode. And then I had to give him the side eye when he was interacting with those strippers during the bachelor party. I'm not sure if it was just the drinks or what was going on. But in this episode, he was back to the nice guy that I think that he really is. He's a man of God and he has a lot of faith in the process and he's looking forward to falling in love. I'm so happy that Brianna was attracted to Vincent because they kept spinning that narrative of looks being really important to her, that looks were, you know, above compatibility. And I'm like, girl, at what point are you going to realize that looks are not everything? I mean, you are unmarried at first sight, obviously, because you're having a hard time um, being connected to the, the guys, I guess, you feel are so good looking. They both felt a sense of joy and natural connection. It was nice to see them converse and get to know each other. And she was pretty impressed with what he does for a living, which was pretty cool. They were saying how bossy she was. So hopefully he's going to be able to tolerate her bossiness and be her partner because they were saying how he likes to take care of business and she was pretty impressed by that as well. They are both optimistic, and I thought it was really sweet that she asked him to hold her hand instead of her dress, and she connected that with a sense of security, and a good handhold is everything. I can't wait to see him show her how to dance his traditional dances. I'm really excited for this couple. They have great vibes, so I can't wait to see how their love story unfolds. Next, we have Chris and Paige. Their ceremony didn't happen yet, but they had the, the, you know, the part in the beginning where they're talking prior to the ceremony. And of course, Chris has to be extra and say, you know, oh, if my wife is really good looking, then it's good. there's going to be a honeymoon baby and I'm going to give her all these babies and blah, blah, blah. And how girls weren't attracted to him until he was successful. He's so full of himself and it's annoying. I did like the great advice from his godfather about not being ashamed to apologize and just to apologize anyway. <laughs> At the end of the day, it is really important to be able to apologize when you're wrong. And that helps to move the relationship along. Paige was getting ready. Her, her dress is beautiful. I love her veil. And she was saying how she felt like they were meant to be. I guess we'll have to see how this wedding unfolds. We also have Jacob and Haley's wedding to look forward to next week. Comment below in the comments and let me know which of these couples are your favorite. Rihanna and Vincent are my favorite right now. And I'm just really excited to see how each of the marriages unfold. I am invested and I'm really excited to see how these couples will connect and progress in the coming weeks. So be sure to join me next week, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.